are a little over an hour and I'm on the fence with this product you guys um, I'm gonna have to put my hair down in some areas and go back over it because the problem with this paddle dryer is that I cannot get to the root of my hair. I just can't. One, my hair is, I can't, excuse me. My hair is too thick and it's just difficult to get to it. Typically, I blow dry my hair using the tension method and I use a nozzle on my blow dryer so I'm able to get at my root, blow out my hair, stretch it out. In my opinion, a good blowout is crucial that you can blow out those roots. And right now my hair is wet still in the middle. So the amount of shedded hair, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. And my, I can feel my hair already reverting back because I'm sweating. My overall verdict it's good it's not great keep in mind you guys i have a lot of hair i have a lot of hair i have multiple textures um if i had normal density hair this would be a winner for me the deal breaker for me is that i could not get to the root i just couldn't i mean i just couldn't get to the root of my hair um but yeah it was good now was it worth all the hype in my opinion no it was and I'm sorry y'all I wanted to love it I like it but I don't love it I'm just gonna keep it a hundred with that being said I would still recommend it if you have normal density hair if you're not walking around looking like the love child of Shaka Khan and, and Chewbacca or what is his name is it Chewbacca yeah uh then yeah <laughs> yeah so yes you guys that is it I know this was I was very excited to try this product and I'm glad I tried it um no regrets at all like I said may use it but if I'm going to be blowing up my hair I will probably use my blow dryer with my nozzle yeah so anyway that is it thank you so much for watching take care bye my glasses I told you what my glasses